morning guys so today is monday of the week leading up to the show so it's peak week show is saturday check-ins and weigh-ins are on friday i'm going to be competing in heavyweight this time around uh because i have a team member who's competing in light heavyweight and my sponsor wants to hit another category so we're doing that um woke up this morning after sleeping and sweating a lot um at two oh three and a half, around around there. Uh not had anything to drink or eat or anything, just woke up and peed. So you can see we're getting a bit more dry. Still got a little bit of water to lose, especially on the hips. I hold water and fat on my hips really badly. But legs are coming in pretty good. You can see really a little bit of quad feathering and all that. How the glutes look. Up there. But uh, the plan is uh, tapering water off throughout the week. So I'm going to have about half as much water today as I did yesterday. Uh, low carb. Uh, just getting some protein, some moderate protein and fats in. Um up until probably Wednesday evening or Thursday, and then start carb loading. Uh, hopefully the carbs will pull in the rest of this water and also fill out. I was sitting around 210 or 212 just a few days ago, um, but I depleted my glycogen so I could take the water off. And then once the glycogen is off, you can actually pull quite a bit more water. You have nothing, no glucose molecules holding onto the water. So uh, that's the plan right now. I'm going to go get my morning rituals started, so I will see you guys in a second. Alright, so, morning rituals started. I'm being lazy just sitting in my underwear. Got the heater on too, so it's a little chilly. But, anyway, lazy and pre. Get half a scoop of this. I don't want to be too stemmed out or anything, but at this point, I do need caffeine to basically survive the day. Also, caffeine is a good diuretic, so it's going to flush some water out. Make me pee. Uh, I got some liquid electrolytes. I like to use these just because if I'm peeing this much, I'm losing a bunch of electrolytes. It's not good. I don't want to cramp up or anything. I'll put a couple splashes in there. It's not much. <clears throat> so a half teaspoon you get 15% magnesium, 15% chloride, 5% sodium, 5% potassium, you get 36% zinc, at least in this particular blend. <clears throat> but anyway, this will be part of the water that I have for today, so this is going to cut out a good little chunk. And unfortunately, I do have medicines I gotta take that I have to take on an empty stomach, so I'll have to wait like 30, 40 minutes before I can eat anything. Got metformin, um, got some over the counter water pills, just another, another diuretic to pick up on Amazon or whatever. This particular one has some caffeine in it as well. That's why I kind of went light on the uh, pre-workout. I don't want to be overly stemmed up. Just a bunch of vitamins and garbage I gotta take. Oh, Lord of mercy. Uh, NAC, NAC. Protect your organs. They need it. Get all this down. <sighs> Liquid vitamins. Favorite, favorite, favorite. Liquid vitamins are good. Liquids versus uh, tabs or whatever. Sometimes, depending on manufacturer, bioavailability is better. I don't know. Usually just get whatever is cheap. Whatever you can afford. You know. You know how it goes. The dogs are laying over here in the messy office. Just 
just chilling out with them. They sleep about as much as I do. Which is good. In prep, you need a lot of sleep, honestly. Because if you're not getting, if you're in a deficit, especially those last couple weeks whenever you are pulling carbs, you just don't really have the energy to do anything. You're not recovering the same. You need all the sleep you can get. So I like to sleep. I like to try to get my seven or eight hours. That's what I aim for a night. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. But uh, if I can't, or even if I can, just depending on the day, I'll still take naps throughout the day if I can. Just squeeze a little bit of a nap in here and there. Whatever I can make work. I have an odd schedule of being on night shift. I've been on night shift for I've been on night shift for two and a half years now. So this is morning for me, but it's really like three in the afternoon. Ugh, all these tabs. <laughs> if you can see that, you get used to taking them. ritual done we'll wait like 30 minutes and then get my pre-workout meal in today I got legs this week I'm not gonna go really hard in the gym I mean there's no need to you're not gonna be putting on any more tissue in the last couple of days uh, just basically pump up work um, so what I'm gonna do is focus really the leg workout on my calves my hamstrings and my glutes because my hamstrings and glutes are weak point calves i just feel like i need to keep them pumped up for them to be visible uh do some posing of course go through my posing routine and uh, that'll be it for the day of training so but uh, i will see you in a second whenever i get that meal ready all right so it's been probably about an hour i sat down i was trying to do some work but it's time to get some pre-training meal started so what I do um, depending on the morning if I want to have something solid I will uh, lately just to kind of fight off a bit of a sweet tooth and also just to uh, get a little extra carbs a little quick quicker carbs for like a leg day or back day I've just been doing a protein shake I use the ninja blender uh, so what I'm gonna do see if I can set the phone down somewhere somewhere decent kitchen's a little messy but uh that's what happens you're gonna prep oh well um so what i do get some frozen strawberries strawberries are uh, pretty low in carbs so that's good frozen gives it a nice texture whenever you blend it up it's like a really cold best way i can describe it's similar to like a milkshake so, probably okay, the last bit of those. It might be like a cup and a half, really. They're whole strawberries, but if you cut them up, a cup and a half. I'm going to throw in a banana as well today, because again, leg day. Normally, I wouldn't do this. Normally, I would just go with the strawberries and that's it. But. A little bit of banana. Throw that in there. If we can make everything fit, maybe. Might have to get a strawberry to one of the dogs. Here. Anyway. All right. So get some water in this. grocery store zero sugar Hershey syrup so it's basically cocoa powder wet cocoa powder but uh, it definitely makes a big difference in my opinion
And we're going to toss in a little bit of organic peanut butter. Get a little bit of fat in. A little bit of flavor. A little bit of texture. There's not much room in this guy right now. So I might have to blend it first. It might be loud. Let's see if I can get this on here. I really need a bigger cup. Ooh, it's pulled over. And here we go. Get that mixed up a little bit so we can throw in our protein. Make all the magic happen. So, here we go. Nice and sloshy. I need to take out just a tad bit of this. We'll see. Alright, so the protein that I'll use, because I'm lactose intolerant, MRE Light by Redcon 1. This is peanut butter cookie. Uh, it is a mix of white isolate with beef protein, pea protein, brown rice protein, chicken protein, egg protein, salmon protein. Basically just everything that's not whey, except for a little bit of whey isolate, just no lactose. So I will do one scoop of this. And also, I like to get bulk protein powder off of eBay because you can get like a, just pounds of it. It comes in bags like this. It's very, very cheap, so I just reuse a container that I had. This is not uh, dynamitized. This is just the protein that I got off eBay. But it's way isolate. It's 100% isolate, so I can actually digest it without having sleep issues. And we'll get this guy back on the blender if it'll fit. All sorts of technical difficulties this morning. All right, back in we go. And we're done. I'm we'll gonna clean up and then I'll show you guys what it looks like. All right, so. Here we go. You can see it's all mixed up. Nice cold milkshake consistency. Pretty low calories, low carbs. But it's a nice little pick me up in the morning, get you going. So I'm gonna have that. Uh, that'll probably be the most carbs that I have today, with it being peak week and me trying to shed water. What's going to happen is uh, probably after my workout, I might have another cup of strawberries and then I'll be it and the rest of my meals will just consist of protein and maybe some uh, very, very low carb, high fiber vegetables, some spinach or broccoli or maybe green beans, something along those lines. Just keep it real simple and low on carbs and um, that'll be basically how the rest of my week goes up until probably late Wednesday or Thursday. So. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how I look. All right, guys. So I got to the gym. So I'm a little lightheaded, but that's just because we're in peak week. 
Um, did some light legs, like I mentioned. Um, just did some leg curls, um, some glute work, some calf work, um, just a little bit of mobility, just keep everything loose. Um, got a pump. So I'm back home now. I decided against the half cup of strawberries. I, uh, or a cup of strawberries, whatever it was that I said. So I've got my post training meal. It was chicken, uh, six ounces of chicken, a cup of green beans, and half a cup of rice with some uh, sugar free uh, Asian barbecue sauce. It's like five calories or something per uh, couple tablespoons. It's really low. But I'm going to eat this down. Probably take a nap or something. I got to do an Epsom salt bath later to try to dry out a little bit more. It might get in my sauna suit, but. That's uh, basically the name of the game this week is just pull that water. So I will keep you guys updated throughout this week and then uh, we'll see how uh, competition day goes. See you guys.